Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After refusing police officers, Bay Area coffee shop faces brutal consequences. Maybe there is such a thing as bad publicity. An Oakland coffee shop with an avowed policy of refusing to serve police officers might be getting a professional reaction from local cops who are shrugging off the blatant insult. But the reaction in both the local community and nationwide has been different, and the backlash has been brutal. According to SF Gate, a Bay Area news site published by the San Francisco Chronicle, local cops learned of the new coffee shop's policy last month, when Sergeant Robert Trevino was told by a barista there that the business doesn't serve police officers. The irony here is that Trevino sounds like exactly the kind of cop liberals say they want on the street. He's a Hispanic patrolling an area with a large Hispanic population. He teaches cadets at the local police academy how to handle diversity issues. He's apparently ethnic-minded enough to be president of the Alameda County chapter president of the National Latino Peace Officers Association. But he's a police officer, who's taken an oath to protect the residents of the community, even if that means risking his own life, and by the warped standards of liberals in the post-Obama era, that means he's the enemy. Austin Huerte, the name means until death in Spanish, even published a lengthy Instagram post explaining its position and made it clear the people behind the shop don't like white people or cops, even cops of the politically correct ethnic background. The post also contained a warning. We wanted to put this out to our communities now, in case we end up facing backlash because as we know OPD, unlike the community, has tons of resources, many of which are poured into maintaining smooth public relations to uphold power, the post states. It will be no surprise if some of those resources are steered toward discrediting us for not inviting them in as part of the community. To the cops' credit, though, the local department seems to be taking the affront with aplomb. It must take a thick skin to be a police officer in a city where even the mayor has such low respect for the law that she alerted illegal aliens to a raid by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. I think their position is very clear that they don't want the police in there, and I can respect that, Sergeant Brian Hubbard, vice president of the Police Officers Association, told SF Gate. If they do call the police for any need, we're going to respond professionally and give them the same level of service as anyone else regardless of their position. But other area businesses aren't taking it so lightly, according to KGO, the ABC station in the Bay Area. For them, to refuse service to a police officer from our community is totally outrageous, Jose Cheo Ortiz, owner of nearby La Perla restaurant, told the station. He's a great officer, a great man and he's all about community. For him to come and introduce himself to a new business and receive that treatment is not acceptable. Commenters on social media were outraged. Some took to the business review site Yelp to vent their feelings. How utterly disgusting that any business would refuse to serve police officers, who face getting shot at every day to protect all of us from the scumbags that California now shields from the rightful consequences of their actions. It's been a while since coffee shops were making news for not serving cops. That kind of disrespect seemed to die with the end of the Obama presidency when a warped federal government in the hands of Obama and Attorneys General Eric Holder and Loretta Lynch seemed to have declared war on the forces of law in America. But it looks like it might be returning now. And if the response to Austin Huerta's attitude is any indication, Americans outside of the liberal bubbles aren't any more tolerant of it now than they were then. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like, and subscribe. Thank you.